squeezy. Hi, it's Squeezy and today's video I just want to talk about roasting. Okay, if we've all been roasted at some point in our lives, obviously if you're one of my friends, we are the ones that roast other people. Because roasting is good, but at some point you get roasted to the point that you want to kill yourself, right? Have you ever got roasted by your boys and you actually feel like you just want to scream and cry because it's getting deep in it? So how would you avoid getting roasted by your boys, by your niggas, by your niggas? Basically that's a short term of niggas. Niggas is a short term of niggas. I just made that up. From today onwards, that's what I'm going to use. So how do you prevent yourself from being roasted by your niggas? Niggas. <laughs> wow, that's so cool, man. Moving on, so how do you actually stop yourself from avoid? Because you can't stop people from roasting you. Like if you're my friend and you have a small dick because some girl told me you have a small dick, we're going to roast you 24-7, alright? Now how do you avoid getting roasted? The first way to avoid getting roasted is to shut the fuck up, alright? You know what I like here? If someone's roasted me or my boys are roasting me and I can sense that they're going to roast me for such a long time, what I do, I shut the fuck up, okay? Let them roast you, alright? Just let everyone have their turn then. But if you keep talking, alright? We used to have this guy here, yeah, he just kept you, you, you could roast him and he just kept talking. And then the more he kept talking, the more everyone felt like, whoa, let's gang up on this guy and just roast him, roast him, roast him. So obviously for those people that don't understand slang, because you live under a cave, roasting is basically dissing your friend in a friendly way, but sometimes it gets deep. It gets deep to a point that you diss someone for such a long time, you're making fun of him for such a long time, and it kind of feels like you're being bullied, all right? And we don't want that, okay? You don't want to feel like you're being bullied by your boys, so always shut the fuck up when you're being roasted by everyone, okay? Because if you go against someone, and then the other person realizes you're going against that someone, everyone's gonna target you. I mean, sorry, if you go against everyone, everyone's gonna just target you instead. So the other trick as well, First of all is to shut the fuck up. Another trick to stop your people from roasting you, everyone from roasting you, is to roast just one person in particular. So if you're being roasted by five of your boys, look for someone out of them that doesn't know how to roast and start roasting him. No matter who's roasting you, okay? Just roast that person. So every time everyone roasts you, just aim at that person. So what's going to happen? You're going to say something very funny or something kind of offensive but funny about the other person's mom and then everyone's gonna go to that person okay so that's what you do but if you rust if you try to rust everyone that's rusting you in a group what's going to happen everyone's just gonna go at you so if someone says oh you have a small dick this girl told me she needed a microscope to see your dick because it's fucking tiny and then you go at that person then the next person says how you have a small head and and your breath stinks like like shit and then obviously you go after that person again then everyone's just gonna roast you so roast the person that called you something and just keep roasting that one person and it has to be someone that can't roast obviously you always know some people that can't roast others they only roast you when someone else is roasting you because they can't roast you themselves they can't come up with it they can't come up with anything so those are the people you look for yeah you roast that person and everyone is gonna go towards that person but don't try to roast everyone at, at, at once because what's going to happen, everyone's going to say, Ooh, so you're trying to roast me, you're trying to roast me. Before you know it, bro, they've got you in a circle, everyone's making fun of you, smacking the back of your head, blah, blah, blah. And you're going to start feeling that you're being bullied, okay? So that's the first way of avoiding being roasted. Another way to avoid being roasted is to stop doing things that get you to be roasted, okay? So if your boys roast you because of how you dress, then I suppose you stop dressing that way, okay? All right? To just stop dressing like that okay so if your boys rust you because you always go for underage girls then maybe you should stop stay away from underage girls before you actually get rusted by the police in court and getting arrested and getting rusted in jail and getting bound in prison because you couldn't stay away from underage girls okay so stop doing things that could get you rusted okay don't go out there don't go waiting outside school waiting for the little girls to come out you're disgusting okay obviously your boys are gonna rust you if you're a pervert if you're a pedo man okay so avoid doing things that might rust you okay so avoid shagging girls that are gonna go around your back and tell your boys that you have a small dick okay because everyone's gonna know you have a small dick and me if you're my friend and a girl tells me you have a small dick from that day onwards we're gonna call you small dicky okay we're gonna call you little dicky little dicky that's what we're gonna call you we're gonna roast you so much okay so avoid shagging those girls that will go around telling everyone about your small dick okay and if you're a girl and you don't want basically girls never really roast each other girls it's always mainly they just argue 
they just argue man whereas boys obviously can make fun of each other and not argue okay except when it gets really deep and you just have to punch a nigga okay i just shut the fuck up you've been dissing me for 24 7. but basically if you don't want to get rusted then i suppose you shut the fuck up always rust the weakest person if everyone's rusting you rust the, the one person that's weak and will never rust you if they were on their own so rust that person even if everyone's still rusting you keep rusting that person till everyone changes their minds towards that person you know the third way is to avoid obviously chilling with people doing things that might get you rusted okay don't wear stuff that will get you rusted okay don't wear weird shoes that people will see and then they rust you well except if you're the biggest in a group then you can do whatever the fuck you want you can just show up in whatever you can show up in in tights girls tights and none of your niggas will talk to you if anyone talks punch them out okay yeah so basically just do that stay away from girls that will see your small dick and make fun of you obviously i have a big one so when they shag me they go around telling my friends oh yo i shagged squeezy your friend has a massive d and then obviously i get credit for him obviously if you have a big d all your friends respect you as well you know if they find out and stuff like that no homo of course but yeah when they find out they respect you like whoa that guy girls say he has a big D so you could take your girl anytime yeah don't mess around with him and stuff but yeah that's how you avoid being rusted obviously and peace